My name is Colonel Christopher Bronzy. I'm an infantry officer and currently serving as the Director for Experiment Division at the Marine Corps Warfighting Laboratory. Over the past two and a half years, the Warfighting Lab has been experimenting by, with, and through the Marine Expeditionary Forces to shape the future infantry battalion design. This effort to transform the service's base unit is driven by changes to the modern battlefield. Today, precision fires are decisive, electromagnetic warfare is omnipresent, counter unmanned aerial systems are critical, and distributed operations are required. Our formations must adapt, and infantry battalion experimentation is at the forefront of this adaptation. After two years of experimentation, the service has built an 811 Marine formation that possesses enhanced sensing, command and control, lethality, and sustainment. The battalion is smaller, more mobile, and more distributable with an increased capacity to sense, make sense, and strike the enemy. The capabilities spreading throughout the infantry demand more maturity at every echelon. The personnel, equipment, and training embedded at every level of the battalion requires discerning guidance and steady leadership. All in all, the new infantry battalion is enhancing the infantry battalion's capacity to execute maneuver warfare. The formation empowers unit leaders and encourages mission-based task organization across the force. Defeating the enemy in close combat will always remain the primary task for the infantry. However, being able to act as a sensor within a joint force will soon become equally important. The improved ability to sense, make sense, and disrupt an adversary's ability to sense will enhance survivability, lethality, and freedom of mobility for the distributed operations the future infantry will be tasked with. The service, and by extension the infantry battalion, must become sensor rich. The new formation accomplishes this by increasing organic unmanned aerial system capabilities, incorporating signals intelligence and electromagnetic warfare teams, and establishing battalion scout platoons. Scout platoons are purpose-built to provide organic intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance to the battalion commander, and generate multi-domain effects at the tactical edge. Removing precision rifle employment from their explicit tasks allows them to focus their training on the reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition mission required by the battalion. This capability will increase the menu of options and situational awareness for the commander. Additionally, a six Marine SIW team per company, supplemented by personnel in the battalion's headquarters, will aid in increasing battlefield situational awareness. Adding Marines versed in the information environment shifts our infantry units from prey to predators in the spectrum, allowing them to exploit this highly contested domain. Airspace is, at all echelons, another highly contested domain in modern war. The new formation exploits developments in unmanned aerial systems, equipping each squad and platoon with multiple systems and giving companies Group 2 UAS, which provides longer endurance and longer range than any system they've had in the past, flooding the air with battalion organic sensors. New military occupational specialties, new equipment, and new organization throughout the battalion take what was a formation relying on external units to see forward and equips them organically with a tremendous toolbox of sensing capabilities, extending their eyes and increasing their relevance in the modern fight. The new infantry battalion increases the resilience of command and control across echelons and waveforms while also providing a previously exquisite and rare capability to the tactical edge. The hallmark of the new architecture is a shared digital common operational picture from the squad to battalion echelons. Enabled by mesh network radios, end user devices at the squad level, and company level network on the move vehicles, the digital cop provides real time situational awareness and reduces the time associated with deconfliction and location reporting. The network is so important because it enables rapid closing of kill chains and allows access to joint kill webs. The resilience needed in modern war is provided both in distributing the secure on-the-move network to the companies, making it harder to deny the entire battalion this capability, and through giving all echelons access to more waveforms. Units must have multiple waveforms at their disposal to maneuver around enemy actions in the spectrum. The battalion's redundant, durable command and control architecture mitigates the enemy's ability to disrupt friendly operations. The new infantry battalion formation 
increases the unit's ability to organically solve its tactical problems. The 81mm mortar platoon has two more fire direction centers, increasing their flexibility. Javelins are now in the rifle company, providing organic anti-armor capabilities. Multi-purpose, anti-armor, anti-personnel weapon systems are now aligned to each rifle squad, and precision rifles have been placed in the company arms room. The most transformative change, however, is the integration of aerial loading munitions into the battalion as part of the Organic Precision Fires program. Organic Precision Fires are a family of loitering munitions from the squad to battalion echelons. These systems increase the range and deadliness of Marine infantry units, pushing the range of company organic weapon systems out to 50 kilometers. We are also giving squads the ability to take control of these systems mid-air, making it possible for lower echelons to employ higher level, more capable assets at the tactical edge. The changes to the battalion increases leaders' flexibility and the capabilities they can bring to bear at every echelon. There is now a larger responsibility on the leaders at each unit to conduct tactical analysis and task organization for their mission. The new battalions have more capable tools. It will be up to the commanders to get the most out of them. Sustainment is a pacing function for future Marine Corps infantry. As units spread out, logistics and sustainment increase in complexity. The equation of what each echelon should produce versus rely on resupply for changes. The new battalion incorporates organic power generation at the battalion and company echelons, along with power management and optimization capabilities at the platoon and squad. Increasing the number of electronic devices at each echelon makes power a more important resource than ever. The new formation also grows the number of ultralight tactical vehicles, increasing tactical mobility options and flexibility of sustainment and logistics. Distributing maintenance marines to the companies in their logistics sections allows flexibility and will improve communication of repair needs. Water purification and lower echelon power generation are still being explored. Defining and then acquiring the right size and weight systems remains a high priority and the focal point of emerging experimentation threads. One way the Marine Corps is getting after this challenge is by placing a logistics subject matter expert in the future Marine Corps platoon and company headquarters. This enables quick decision making and in stride problem solving and aid with planning and executing the full spectrum of operations. Medical logistics is also a focal point for the future infantry units as new medical capabilities and enhanced capacity increase resiliency, improve point of injury care, and enabling more efficient use of medical supplies. My name is Gunner Sergeant Justin Kelly, and I served with Victor 1-3 during the beginning phase of this experiment. That experience changed my perspective of the new design. First, I learned that I could have decentralized control where typically I would be fixed, say on a support by Fire Hill. This enabled me to be in other areas of influence and to have greater flexibility on the battlefield. Also, due to the experience and leadership within the platoon's ranks, we were able to plan and execute more training on a day-to-day -day basis. The experience of other infantry, military occupational specialties increased the platoon's knowledge and lethality across the board. The platoon was still capable of scouting and conducting machine gunnery, and we were able to familiarize ourselves with drone employment, sustainability, and field craft across all domains. This new formation postures the Marine Corps to outpace future threats. With all the changes and the increased complexity of the operational environment, we have placed a larger burden on each level of leadership. The responsibilities and capabilities of a squad fully demand the experience and proficiency of a staff NCO. The maturity and the scope of a fire team requires that of a sergeant. The new battalion has elevated the expectations at each billet, requiring increased seniority in those roles. My name is Brigadier General Kyle Ellison, the Commanding General of the Marine Corps Warfighting Lab. I've been an infantryman for 30 years now, and I'm a blocking and tackling type of guy. It is for that reason that I'm both excited and all in about where we're going with the future infantry battalion. Let me tell you what the future infantry battalion is. It's about providing greater lethality. It's about providing greater maneuverability in every climb and place. It's about enhancing combined arms and doing it across all domains. And it's about keeping the faith with our Marines and sailors through enhanced combat casualty care. 
What it is not is it's not an infantry battalion unable to adapt to the changing character of war. It's not about a change in our mission essential task list. Offense and defense remains the mission essential task of the future infantry battalion. And it's not about major course corrections. It's about one to two degree rudder steers. Simply put, is it's a journey and not a destination. So what we're asking from each of you is to do what Marines always do. Be a part of the team. Engage in the learning. Make the formation better. And if called upon, fight and win. Semper Fidelis.